Today we're going to be talking about text box properties. We're going to be having multi lines, focus, click detectors, and more. Now let's go hop into the video. Hello there! Before we start doing the video, we gotta make sure we know what a text box is. So in this case, a text box is a GUI that allows a player that is playing the game to add their own text inside of the box. Now that you know what a text box is, we can start to explore the first property. One more thing before we start, we have to make sure our explorer is set up for this video. So in your explorer here, you want to go to start a GUI and add a screen GUI. After that, you want to make sure you add a text box. Click the plus and we can look through for the text box right here. Make sure you don't get confused with the text button because if you choose a text button instead of a text box, a lot of the properties that are explained in this video won't be available. So make sure you click the right one, text box. Now that we have everything set up in our explorer, let's go explore, pun intended, the first property. Now let's go explore the first property. So we can go into our properties here in the text box and we can find something that says clear text on focus. You might not know what this means if you're completely new to GUIs. Speaking of GUIs, if you're completely new to my channel or GUIs, then you should start from the beginning of my playlist so that you can get the most out of this video and nothing is too confusing. Now, the first thing that you may notice on GUI or clear text on focus is the word focus because it doesn't really make sense. Clear text on focusing on what? That, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So what this means by clear text on focus is the word focus means in terms of Roblox Studio is selecting an element on a GUI. In this case, the element that we're selecting when we're using a text box is the text. So when we click on to a text box with this off and type whatever we want, we can say, a good job, code link. Try and type as fast as I can, code link. If we get out of the text box and click back into it, then the text stays the same. Nothing much happens there. But if we click clear text on focus, you may notice the other words and you could give a guess that the text will disappear just like that when we click on it. This could be useful as a little mini detail if you wanted to. But for now, I'm gonna make it so that clear text on focus is off so that our words are gonna actually stay on it on the actual box itself so that they don't magically disappear while I'm talking. <laughs> but in all serious terms, we're going to be going on to the next property. Next up on our list, multi-line. So if we try to click without multi-line, one of the properties, if we try to make several lines on our text, if I try to click enter, nothing happens. It just kicks me out of the actual text box. But if we click multi-line and try to do this, let's say, um, random word, dig down deep or something. And if we click enter, now we're able to actually do the multi-line because, you know, multi-line is checked on. So we can do as much as we want. And as you can see, it will eventually go out of the screen, which is a bit weird. So maybe you could add a lim limit or something and do some research. But at least you know how to make multi-lines. So all you need to do is click a button. Now that we know what is multi-line, we're gonna go see the last property. When we go down on text properties, we not only see the normal text that we would usually see when we talk about GUIs, we also find placeholder text. So placeholder text is text that sort of place is a placeholder for when there's no text. Kind of self-exploratory there. But we can sort of self-prepare this and do things like maybe search. Maybe it was a search bar. It is a pretty good idea or reason to use this kind of text box here. So now that we have search and click out, as you can see, it's still search right there. 
you may notice that it's pretty small I don't think any of you guys could read that so I'm gonna go down into the text and in order to change the placeholder text we just change the text size as the size that the placeholder text is is the same size the text would be or vice versa so we're gonna go and find text size and make that a decent amount there we go stop there we go now well i'm just gonna add some dot dots because it just makes me think about a search bar very similarly so yeah now i have placeholder text so if we click on it now you can see that since there's nothing it shows the search but the second i add a random letter or whatever what did i say it goes away immediately and only shows what i typed so that is what a placeholder text is now the last part of this video is the scripting so we're going to be scripting some click detectors and text detectors now let's get into it now that we are going to get into scripting click on text box and add a local script so let's add a comment that says variables as why not I encourage using comments because it helps you as its purpose is to remind you of what something does just make sure you don't over comment now let's go and do a variable so we're gonna actually get the text box itself so let's do local oops, local text box is equal to oops, text box is equal to equal to script dot parent dot parent now that we have that set up we're gonna go into the click detectors so we're gonna type click detector right here so this detects of when we are focused onto the object or the text box so we're gonna do click detector now let's type text box text box dot focused oh not parent and then we're going to do connect and function brackets enter so now we have our box here so we're just going to do print and we're going to type um let's say focus that's it focus there we go so if we test this by running the game, we can wait for it to load up. As you can see, we can, or it's still loading or something. Why can't I click now? Very odd. Very, very odd. Let's see, oh. I can click on here, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe I just didn't see it or something. Oh, not that. Hmm. Why can't I click it today? Click it. What if I need to go in player mode? That could be a reason, possibly. Oh, I'm gonna wait for this load up. Do, do, do. Yep, okay. So, I basically just needed to run the game like this, apparently. So, as you can see, down here, we can see that it says focus. Let me zoom in for you guys. Very close. Focus. So, if I click on again, then it will do focus times two. What if we get out? Nothing happens. So, let's make that actually say lost focus. That is the next part of our scripting. So, let's do text box dot lost focus or focus lost focus list and we're gonna do colon connect you know that stuff that we've been doing the whole series and we're gonna print focus or focus disappeared for fun. and then we're gonna say focus no I didn't type that right focus vanished there now let's click play Load it right up. Load it to the tippy top. Okay. 
So if we click focus, or if we click the search bar, I'm gonna call it a search bar now, it says focus. If we click out of it, now it says focus vanished. Now you can do this as many times as we want. We could spam it if we wanted to, and it will still work. So that is how you can detect how if a text box a text box is focused on or if it lost its focus or if they clicked out. But that's not all. Don't don't leave the video, please. I still want to teach you guys one more thing. And this is to check of if something was typed inside, a, a specific thing. So we can say if, and we can say text box dot text, because remember, the text is basically the same as the text that we type into. So we're going to use text is equal to two equal signs. And let's add a string. Let's say a unicorn. Why not? Hopefully, I can type this yep. Enter. Oops. Enter. So then it automatically types it then in end. And we can say print nay or something. So let's say print and call these strings. And I'm going to do nay. Now we're going to be able to check if it has focused, if it lost its focus, or if we typed specifically unicorn. So click on it, let's get out of it, and as you can see it said focus found, focus vanish. Well it didn't say focus found, but it did say focus to prove. And now let's type unicorn. So if we type U, nothing happens, I can scroll down. But it did say focus because we did click on it. Uni or and should have typed it. Or I oh right. Okay, there is one more thing. Since I did not use this sort of format here, as I am using equal signs, I do need to add a while loop. So we're going to do while true do, and we're going to enter once. Oops. Do. We're just going to enter one time. We're going to remove that end, as it's going to be surrounding the if statement. And we're going to type wait so that uh, our computers don't actually crash when we try this. Oops. And I'm going to go down here and type end. Now this should work. So if we just wait a moment, we can click here, focused, focus vanished, focused again. And we can type unique or and end. As you can see, it is saying nay a lot of times. Nay, like, a lot, a lot. Very quickly, we could slow this down, I believe, by using wait right here. And notice as we're not putting it inside of the while true do statement, instead we're putting it inside of here. So because of that, we are not just checking if we're not checking if it is actually going through one time we are putting inside of the if statement so it's only going to pause for a second only if it says unicorn so we're going to do wait brackets and we're going to say maybe three seconds now let's play the game and when we play it we should be able to type unicorn and it should be able to reply with nay every three seconds so we're going to type unicorn nay we can wait a few seconds and we'll do it again. So now it's going at a slower pace. It is just going by times three because there's nothing else overlapping it, but you can see that it is constantly doing nay every three seconds. Now we can get out of that. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.